Today, I want to offer a podcast that just simply offers you support. So feel free to grab some pillows, comfy, squishy pillows, big blankets or fuzzy blankets, a teddy bear, anything that just is soft and cushy that comforts you. The Embody Podcast accompanies you on your journey of remembering and embodying your true nature, integration and alignment with your vibrational clarity, self-love, and living a life of beauty and wholeness. It's a menu of transformative healing tools, experientials, meditations, and practices from a blend of family constellations, somatic therapies, and holistic and spiritual practices sprinkled with vulnerable conversations with people who have the courage to be themselves, Alive Now episodes with updates on my personal process, and reverie episodes that are spiritual succulents that honor, reveal, hug, shake, or stir you into love. I'm your host, Candice Wu, integrative and intuitive healing facilitator and artist. I feel like we often underestimate how much we need emotional and physical support. And sometimes we are craving it and we want it from other people and they're not there. And we forget that we can really offer it to ourselves in a deep and profound way. Touch, we need. Some people would call that self-love and some people would call it self-care. Whatever you call it, See if your body would like some soothing and some support and care. And the way that I would like to guide our experience today together is to focus on or bring your attention to the feeling that you can give yourself through soothing, the feeling of receiving your own support and touch, receiving the support and comfort of what you're sitting on, what is wrapped around you, or the pillows that are squeezing up next to you. So let's jump in. So feel free to take your cozy pillows, your blankets, your teddy bears or stuffed animals, anything that's giving you comfort or would give you comfort just in very tactilely how it feels. Place the pillows in any configuration around you, underneath you, under your head. You can sit, you can lie down, you can curl up and go under a blanket. There's a reason that we sometimes have that impulse to get cozy like that or to hide under a blanket or to surround ourselves with that because our body is innately searching for that soothing. We want the containment sometimes, or we want to hide, or we want to mm, feel comforted. And when we're young and we're babies, ideally we have the support of our parents or someone loving to hold us, to physically hold us, and touch our bodies so we feel that containment, that support, and the extension of our nervous system that helps us feel through the big feels that we have in our body, that we, that our nervous system is not quite developed for yet as babies, as toddlers, as kids. We really need to feel someone else's present, attuned, grounded support for us to feel like we can build our nervous system, for us to feel safe. And if you've had any situations that were overwhelming to your system when you were young and somebody wasn't there or your parents were emotionally unavailable at times or there was other abuse or um, really scary situations that could lead to some gaps in that ability to feel like you can support yourself because we needed some help to develop that. But the good thing is you can develop that 
on your own or with the support of a coach or therapist or healer, especially one that's working with somatic pieces. So here we are with just a cozy, cozy space that you've created for yourself. And I would invite you to lean into, let your body physically lean into the comfort of whatever is touching you or surrounding you. And if it's not comfortable, play with it and see what you can do to make it just right for you. Even moving something like an inch can really make a difference. This is a chance you get to be picky and make it how you want it exactly. We get to do that in life, but we often forget we can do that. And sometimes we call it needy or sometimes we call it selfish. I don't know what judgments we have, but we really get to do that. We really get to pick how we experience our life. So you get to choose this comfort right now. And as you let your body lean into any place that can feel that comfort, see what begins to happen in your body. Notice where your body is touching the comfortable object or the blanket or the pillow that you have. Maybe you have an animal nearby, a pet. And offer your body the support and loving. As you breathe in, breathe in the soothing. Let this whole experience be a support to your nervous system, to your body, to your energy. And whatever is going on in your mind, just see if you can let it flow by like clouds floating in the sky or leaves on a stream. Just witnessing all that's happening and then refocusing on where it feels comfortable. You can take your hands and touch a part of your body, your heart. You can wrap your arms around your shoulders or your upper arms like a self-hug. Or you can hold your elbows, your knees or your ankles. Or just curl up into a big ball and hold your legs. Another option is to touch your forehead and the back of your neck or your cheeks. And just find whatever supports you. If none of those support you, get creative and see what your body wants. Notice if any part of your body can receive the touch, can feel the impact of your own touch. And this touch is just for soothing and support, just to give your body care. Just like you would hold a baby or hold a pet and touch them or pet their hair, this is that same kind of loving to yourself. Notice your breathing and what begins to happen next as you stay with the good feeling, if there is a good feeling. And if this brings up upsetting feelings and they're tolerable, Feel free to just breathe and let them pass through. If the feelings are overwhelming, open your eyes if they're closed and just look around, take a break and let your attention divert to 
your space around you and looking at anything that's comforting there. When our body begins to feel safer, when our nervous system says, oh, okay, there's some safety here, we often feel the feelings that have been stored inside of us or waiting to be felt. Our nervous system comes out of a frozen tonic immobility state, comes back online. It's like ice thawing into water. It returns to its original form of water. So whatever feelings were inside of you that may have tipped you over the edge into overwhelm, if your body was there, then when you come back to safety or touch into a little piece of comfort and safety, your body might show you those feelings as a way to bring them to the surface, to release them, to digest them, feel through them. So you can just let them be and let them move if that's a possibility for you. And you might notice the feelings that come up. Maybe they're relaxed, good feelings as well. And you can toggle between feeling whatever emotions are coming up, whatever sensations, and back to the comfort, the comfort of the pillows around you or blankets or whatever objects you have near, the comfort of what's underneath your body, letting it hold your body even more, feeling the support from underneath you. Just noticing whatever is happening in your body. Your body is so, so, so brilliant and intelligent. It knows exactly what to do, and with our attention, we can support it. When it gets overwhelming, if it does, that's when we let our attention go somewhere else to help support a little more safety, and then we come back. And as you feel in a little deeper, a little longer into the support, any comfort that you're able to give to your body, let your body experience the impact. There's nothing you need to do right now. Nothing you need to accomplish or achieve or be. Just being here the way that you are, the way that your body is, and feeling presence with yourself. Notice where there's any tension that might be loosening or softening, releasing. Notice if that tension releases any emotions and just watch the process. Observe it like a movie.
And feel free to stay here for as long as you'd like. Feel free to take a nap. Feel free to rest. And I'll leave a little bit of silence here. If you'd like to just stay and deepen into this experience. And at the end, just fade into some gentle music to bring you back to the present moment and your space. And when you do come up, when you do shift gears, do so slowly and gently and when you open your eyes, just look around your space, let your body adjust. Find enjoyment around you or things that soothe you as you look around you. And feel free to take this supportive experience to your body into your day. Thank you so much for joining me and see you next time.